they that wait upon the Lord shall not go weary. They shall soar with wings like eagles. They shall walk and not grow weary. They shall run and not grow faint. Isaiah 40, 31 be Serving God, following Jesus is anything. Once you're completely sold out, you're completely obedient to Him. It is anything but mundane. I'm telling you. <laughs> he will take you places <laughs> you never been. When you're following, following the ways of the Lord, when you're following the Lord, no matter who you are, you can even have a speech impediment. It don't matter. If you are sold out for Jesus, and uh, you are obedient to the Word, listening for His Holy Spirit's guidance, He will accomplish His Word in your life. He will accomplish His Word. He will accomplish Ephesians 3.28. He's able to do exceedingly, exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ever ask, think, or imagine. He will cause you to soar on the heights. He will take you places, I'm telling you, that you never thought of. But it's all being obedient to the Word of God, listening for His voice. He brought me here today. I said, before coming here, I said, Lord, I was upset. I said, Lord, come on, let's go. Accomplish your word in my life. I have sacrificed a lot, Lord. You know, already take me places, God. I want to see action, motion, baby. To you, baby, not God. Guide me, I said, Lord, guide me today. Give me vision, clarity, and guidance. Holy Spirit, what do you want to do in my life today? Where do you want me to go? What do you want me to say? So, his message to you is, don't give up because Isaiah 40, 31, like I said, those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. They will soar. They will soar. Huh? They will soar with wings like eagles. He will take you places. You will find yourself boarding of planes, going places you never dreamed of. If you make the Lord number one and you wait on Him, He will and you're obedient to Him and you ignore the masses so people are saying about you you just want God's will and you follow him to the T you listen for his voice and you listen carefully and you obey what he is telling you to do where he is calling you to he will cause you to soar with wings 
the wing, like the wings behind me. He will cause you to soar with wings like eagles in airplanes. He will accomplish his word. I don't know that. Because he is a faithful God. He is faithful to his word. But you cannot give up. Keep holding on. Keep waiting. And he will accomplish his word in your life. He will take you sorting. When you are completely aligned. Completely. Fully surrendered to his will. To his voice when you set yourself apart, when you sacrifice things and people just to get closer to God and you are sold out for Jesus, he will take you places that you didn't expect. He will renew. He will renew you. He will renew your youth. The adventure in you. You must have a daring, a daring, a willing spirit, and he will take you places. You'll find yourself in places that you never thought of. And God, no matter what the rules, what the rules are, God will see to it that you get through. Amen? Because, you know, uh, God is uh, awesome, but God is above all. He is the connection you need. Praise God. He's got the connections. You don't need to be like some of these people. I can say churches. Because, you know, there's some people that think they need to monitor others to get what is coming to them, to steal from them, to mimic their personality, hoping to uh, become them. Yes, there's people like that, they monitor you. But with God... I call them churches because they have no fear of God. They have no fear of God because the person, you, who they're monitoring is a child of God. And to mess with a child of God is to mess with God. They're going, you know, whatever. I'm telling you, people of God, whoever you are, stick with God. And you will be going places no matter who is trying to steal what. God will see to it that you are exalted when you put him first. Amen? Praise God. Praise God. And again, he'll take you places you never even thought of or dreamed of. He will accomplish his word in your life because God says that he sends out his word and it does not return to him void. So if his promise to us is children who are sold out, no compromise, if his promise is that he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can never ask, think, or imagine, according to the power that works in us, you better believe that word is not going to return to him void, but it's going to accomplish it in your life if you are holding God to his word. He loves it. He loves to be held to his word because his word is infallible. He loves to uh, he loves to uh, prove.
Groove himself, awesome and mighty. He loves to blow your mind. Ha! He loves to blow the minds of the people with blessings that they never imagined. So this is symbolic to let you know God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can never think or imagine. And He is those who wait. He will accomplish Isaiah 40, 31. That says, those who wait upon the Lord, don't compromise, will renew their strength. They shall walk and not grow weary. They shall run and not faint or the other way around. Okay? This is to you an encouragement to keep waiting on God. Don't give up. Don't compromise. Listen for His voice. And he will do it. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We worship you, God. Nothing is hard for you. All things are possible to those who believe, Lord. You are seated on the throne. Everything belongs to you. Lord God, we give you all the glory and all the praise, Lord. We lift your name on high. We don't care what others say or think, Lord. We just follow you, Jesus. Pray your holy name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Don't forget. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and then let me know what God is doing in your life. Praise God. Amen. Talk to you soon. Love you.